But uh, let's get back to the markets and talk about the technicals. We do have Sachitanand Uttekar of Trade Bulls joining in to discuss uh, the markets are Sachitanand. Welcome to the show. Well, as of now, we have the banks which are outperforming, IT which is underperforming, IT is going into a whole host of news as well. How would you approach uh, specific stocks within the space and do you have a call? Uh, good afternoon, Nekta. If I think uh, for the last uh, seven trading sessions, we have already seen Nifty uh, displaying a very strong perpendicular up move. Uh, if you look at uh, the data uh, from yesterday, uh, which is not that comforting, we are seeing that the resistance at around 17,700, 17,800 may hold on for this particular week. Uh, yesterday, we saw a doji formation uh, on the Nifty, uh, which is a sign of indecisiveness. Uh, this particular formation has occurred right at the channel resistance, uh, which we have been observing. Even if you look at the 60 minutes data, uh, we have a three point divergence on its RSI. So, probably, you know, uh, since we have not seen any meaningful correction uh, in this particular rally that we have seen so far, uh, there's a good chance that uh, Nifty may fall back uh, towards its 200 day exponential moving average, which is placed around at around uh, 17,520. So we are not uh, chasing this momentum. Uh, on the contrary, in fact, uh, we have, uh, have an opinion that uh, uh, some shorts can be considered when it comes to Nifty. So uh, right now we are expecting a pullback towards uh, 17,520. And the same can be participated uh, with fresh short positions with a stop loss at around 17,760. When it comes to bank nifty, I think that particular range is well defined. Uh, the 41,000 uh, mark uh, has been uh, acting as a very strong support. And on the higher side, uh, the moment we see uh, 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 some unwinding at uh, 41,000, 500, probably we may see uh, this move getting extended towards uh, 41,700. But as of now, I think uh, it's better to be uh, on the sideline when it comes to Nifty Bank. But uh, when it comes to Nifty, there are signs of exhaustion. Of exhaustion on the Nifty. By the way, some more details coming through from the IMD's press conference. Uh, as you know, it's expected to be a normal monsoon this year, but the IMD also saying that normal rainfall likely over many areas of peninsular India and adjoining East Central India, East India, Northeast India, and some parts of Northwest India as well. Uh, normal to below normal rainfall is likely over some areas of Northwest India and parts of West Central India, and some pockets of Northeast India could get. A normal to below normal rainfall. So overall, of course, it will be a normal monsoon, but there are certain geographic pockets where there could be a below normal uh, monsoon as well. Uh, but Sachidanand, uh, back to you. In terms of individual stocks, you said, you know, on the Nifty, perhaps this consolidation may continue. Any names where you will take a fresh buy call now? Uh, good afternoon, Sonia. Sonia, I think uh, the cement pack has been one of the outperformers, and uh, even uh, right now, uh, there are no signs of exhaustion here. Uh, from this particular pack, uh, we have already seen a good, strong performance by Ultratech Cement. Uh, the second in line has been uh, Dalmia Bharat. So I think uh, even right now, the way it has been holding on above that 2000 mark, uh, if you look at the entire uh, uh, movement, you know it has not slipped below its five-day exponential moving average. Uh, last week, we saw a very confident breakout from a rounding bottom formation somewhere close to around 1960, which is exhibiting a positional target of around 2260. So the, I think there is a lot of headroom still available on the upside. Uh, we are recommending longs here. Uh, any declines uh, should be utilized to create fresh long positions. The stop loss should be placed at around 1980. Uh, we are expecting a momentum target of around 2130. But positionally, I think 2260, the pattern target could be achieved in a couple of weeks. The other stock on our radar is Voltas. Uh, the trend has been clearly on the corrective side. Uh, it has uh, slipped below its four days uh, low. Uh, fresh short positions have been added in today's session. So we are expecting uh, this particular momentum to continue in Voltas on the lower side. A probable target of somewhere close to around 785. And hence, we are recommending short positions with a stop loss at around 824. All right, and do, we do have uh, <laughs> some updates coming in on the El Nino word as well. El Nino, El Nino impact uh, likely to be felt uh, somewhere in the middle of the monsoon months. Uh, so that is uh, the first word coming in from the IND, IMD on El Nino. Expect monsoons to be 96% of the long period average. But on El Nino itself, we just try to put those lines up. Once again, uh, you know, second for the half. viewers, uh, may be seen in the second, second half, half of the second half of yeah. uh, the monsoon yeah. season. So that is something that uh, that's we something have to that watch. the SkyMet had also indicated. That's the mm. reason why they were expecting lower amount of an LPA in terms of rainfall from uh, June to mm -hmm. September. 
But as of now, I guess the IMD has already factored the risks in. And they've said that there is a risk, but as of now, they're still sticking to 96%. Yes. The one technical word that they've used is that El Nino conditions change to neutral conditions over the equatorial Pacific <laughs> region. Now, what exactly <laughs> does that mean? Is it an intense El Nino or less intense El Nino? Does that mean more rains or less rains? I mean, lesser impact? We'll I probably think we'll get just Manisha with, in. Yeah. We'll just do with a normal monsoon. We'll be yeah. happy with that. I think the market's going to take that with both hands. Uh, rest, even in the second half, we'll see it when it comes, right? Yeah. For now, the first half is what is what the market is going to focus on. <laughs> well, uh, Sachidan, and thanks a lot for joining in uh, and uh, giving us an update. We'll do one thing. We'll take a quick break on that note. The market is still very quiet but positive, so 55 points in the green. More on the markets and stock-specific action coming up on the other side.